Well, it's finally time to pick out the best 10 maps for 2018 of May. There were a lot of duds this year, but there were some that stood out from the bunch. Which ones were they? Well, here they are. I'm just gonna hop away like a bunny rabbit. I hope you boys don't mind. Hey, dead body! I've seen you many times before, but never here. And didn't know that you hanged out in this part of the alleyway. And there's another soldier, dude. Oh, he's a friendly. Well, I'm gonna kill him. I'm killing him anyway because you know they gave me the option to. And he's down over there for a nap because you you worked him too hard. Downtown chaos PT3 is about as smooth as a flaming candle. Beginning the level with very little weapons, the player must navigate themselves through the hostile pathway laid before them. Most likely an enemy or two will have to be taken out to reach the end, but it is possible to do it without firing a single gun. If only there wasn't a massive level-breaking shortcut, it likely would have placed higher on the list. At the time of the video, I have not tried PT1 or PT2. I know of their existence, but I cannot vouch for them yet. But I can definitely say that PT3 is a win. Oh, it's just a snake. Ah, uh, those are perfectly harmless. Oh my god, they're not harmless! They're hurtful! I definitely didn't do the swing right, did I? Aha! Never mind! We got it through! We're fine. Temple Guardian is one of those cases where it got a higher rating than it should have. The map can be broken, it feels unfinished, enemies are placed without any rhyme or reason, and then there's this chick! What is she doing here? Why is she here from the get-go? What purpose is there for her being in this part of the level? But despite all those flaws, there is a good sense of adventure. The theme is consistent, and when you go into the map, it's actually fun to explore. No, no, when you consider all the maps that I've played up to this point, number 9 is a good spot for Temple Guardian. So congrats to Steve Miller 69 As for everyone else, come experience this Temple Guardian level for yourself, and you'll see what I mean. Did you just turn on unlimited ammo? You do give me unlimited ammo. <laughs> There's a little angel there. He's just watching the action, watching the fun. He's on drugs. Oh no. No! I didn't think a heavy was going to come. I took him out with me though. That's what you get. That's what you get. Apocalyptic City is a small map that is very well put together. Beginning the game with a full loadout, the player must make their way through the dead city that has been taken over by plant life. Easier said than done when you have 50 enemies trying to gun you down. The biggest flaw is that infinite ammo is turned on and the player is given grenades, so they can just bombard their way to the end. For an added challenge, I recommend trying to beat this map without the use of grenades. So I'm a guinea pig. Hello. How are you not dead yet? How did that guy not die? Do you see how many bullets I put into him? Look how many bullets it takes to kill Jacob. In the main campaign, I'm, I sniper hit shot at him in the head and he died instantly. I'm probably going to have to just run out. Let's do it. There were many bunker maps I played this month worthy of making this 10 best maps list, but I made the decision to ultimately limit it to one bunker map only, and Escape the Lab was the winner. Beginning in a cage with no starting weapons, players are required to escape the trap by fighting through waves of enemies placed inside. Once on the surface, they must get into the helicopter to win. This map is about as plain and basic as it gets while getting the job done right. So our objective is the... Oh, this is the kitchen. I see now. Now I'm being chased by everyone. Oh my god, a pizza box! Oh, oh this level is so cool! 
Is that guy right there? Is that him? No, that's not a guy. Well, it should have been a guy. I didn't do anything! This toy nightmare is one to be living. Yes, I am saying nightmare because we're assuming that everyone in this map is a toy soldier, and all of them want to gun the player down. The objective in this gigantic kitchen is to reach the top of the kitchen cupboard. Oh, for some reason. I don't know why the finish line's up there. The theme rating on this is through the roof. Unfortunately, the level is very linear in its design. Many parts of the kitchen are very difficult to reach, and it has multiple zip lines that doesn't go anywhere. Still, there is no doubting the artistic design of the kitchen, and it's deserving of praise. Wow, so every weapon is god mode, pretty much. This is a lot more enemies here than I thought there would be. You guys are wasting your time. You probably should just lay down here now and give me the instant victory because I'm just gonna take it if you don't. Have you ever thought about going to a farm and slaughtering animals? Probably not many of you. Well, how about slaughtering people instead? <laughs> Bad choice of words, but that's what's going to happen when you play the bounty map Farmhouse Stock. There are six targets to eliminate on the map. Only after they are dead is the player able to run to the end for victory. It'll be a well-deserved victory too, because this map will prove challenging to even the most stealthiest of players. Farmhouse Stock is a well-put-together map deserving of a recommendation. Only slaughter people in this game. Don't do it in real life. And I think Warren, I think of Warren off of Life is Strange. You know that nerd geek guy? Please, good sirs, can you go look the other way so I can get out of the water now? <laughs> With you down, I can now go on my merry way. Now that's gonna stop me. <laughs> I'll admit, this high rating took me by surprise, but Warren City Waste is a consistent and sound level. In this map, Everyone is out to kill the player. All that is required is to make it to the end for victory. And there isn't really much else to say on this. It arguably did its job right in almost every category. And this city is just... Mwah. The map is worthy of a high rating. I also have to hope that when I, par when I actually do parachute this correctly, that, um... That I don't accidentally fall in the water. There are floating airplanes there, so that's always fun. Go off the edge! Wee! I meant to actually just push him off, but sure. That works too. But they gave me a flamethrower at least. So, it's all good, right? Oh my god, the taste of this level. Mmm, so good. Parkour Hunt has a wacky but well put together bounty. The map looks extraordinary large, well, because it is, but it's pretty simple to find the targets. Four enemies must be eliminated before the player can fly back to home point of the spawn zone, where the end goal also happens to be. Players must be extra careful though, because the only way back up is by piloting one of the two helicopters on the map. The entire level might have one pulling out their own hair, but it makes the victory so much sweeter. What is twig light? Oh shit. This is so weird. This level is so messed up. Okay, so the angels are here. This means I actually have to go slow. I have to walk slow or they're gonna attack. Twig light zone is another level of pure beauty and it stands as a testament that you don't have to have a perfectionist of a level for it to be a classic. The map starts the player deep underground. From there, they must fight their way to the surface, where the end goal awaits. The map is broken in some areas, but it requires the player to go out of their way to find it. There is even a secret exit for those obsessive enough to try and get it. The map would have easily taken number one had it not been part of an episodic chain, but still, I highly recommend that you give this map a go. This is going to be one big platforming level, I can already tell. 
This is me being a ninja. I don't know if this is the way I'm supposed to go, but we're going this way anyway. So let me get this straight. I'm supposed to convince you, the viewers, why MJ4 Parkano is better than all the other maps on this list? Well, I don't really have a clear answer for that. It isn't biased, or I would have given Parkour Hunt number one. So let's just go with this. It has fun platforming elements, a decent amount of enemies that can be optionally fought or ignored, on, depending on preference, and the map just looks bizarre. Gameplay is smooth the moment it starts, all the way to the moment the finish line is touched. Not once did I ever felt bored when wanting to see what was around the next corner, because it managed to stay exciting. I may not have looked excited at the time it was filmed, but that was just because there was a no weapons challenge on, so I had to focus. There is a bit of emptiness when you go off path, that needs to be addressed, but it was made clear that you were supposed to climb up, so I'm willing to overlook that. Congratulations to Demonster513 for scoring number one on my 10 best Far Cry 5's map list for May of 2018.